Welcome to my CCNA training series, my name is Trevor. This video is going to help explain the concept of encapsulation. Now that we have gone over all seven layers of the OSI model, and the merged equivalent layers in the TCP IP model, it's important for you to understand exactly how these layers communicate with each other. As data is communicating over a network, each layer needs a place to document its specific information in. This location is referred to as a header. A header is informational data that's appended in front of the application data as it's being processed. Also, depending on the layer, a trailer is added as well. The contents of a trailer are commonly an FCS, or some sort of data integrity check. This layered process of adding headers and trailers around data is referred to as encapsulation. Keep in mind that the OSI and the TCP IP models are different, so the terminology is also different. OSI calls these headers and trailers PDUs, or Protocol Data Units. In OSI terminology, the PDU is compiled of not only the bits that compose the header and the trailer, but also the encapsulated data in between. Here's an example. Notice where we see the OSI encapsulation section that I drew up on my screen. Notice how you have a layer 2 PDU and a layer 3 PDU all the way up to layer 7 PDU. At each layer, the PDU refers to as not only the header, but also the data that's encapsulated within it. So notice as we move from layer 7 to the layer 6 PDU, the layer 6 header is appended to it, and the layer 7 header data and the application data is now all referred to as a layer 6 PDU, and so on all the way down the line. So as you can see within OSI encapsulation, there's no specific name the data is called at each layer. It's only referred to as layer 7 PDU, layer 6 PDU, layer 5 PDU, and so on. This is in direct opposition of what terms the TCP IP model uses. The TCP IP updated model calls the headers, data, and trailers certain terms depending on what layer you're on. Here's an example of the TCP IP encapsulation model. In this model that I've drawn up, you can see that we have the physical data link network transport and application layer. These headers, data, and trailer are all referred to as certain terms depending on which layer you're on. At physical, it's referred to as bits. The data link layer is referred to as frames. Network is referred to as packets. Transport is referred to as segments if you're using TCP or datagrams if you're utilizing UDP. And at the application layer, we simply refer to this as data. It is highly important that you take some time to learn these TCP IP model terms and what layer they correlate to. This will be on the exam since it's one of the most core fundamental networking concepts. A trick I used to learn the TCP IP terms was that they're all in alphabetical order. If you start at the bottom and you look at bits, it starts with B, frames is F, packets is P, segments is S. In the next video that I make, I'm going to extensively walk through an OSI and TCP IP model encapsulation example. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please click on the link in the description below to see the entire CCNA series playlist. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.